all neurons move towards the center of the body. Now, why do neurons move centrally? Well, we'll see. Now, one night what happened was Peter woke up to see fire in his room. He was very shocked and then he ran away from the room. So, many effects are uh, seen from a single information. When Peter saw the fire through his eyes, the visual impulses were carried to his brain, brain processed the information and then sent the responses back to the facial muscles causing him to change his expression. See how this is happening. Impulses are carried to the brain and processed information is coming back to the facial muscles causing his change in expression. Now processed information are also carried to the different muscles in his body facilitating him to run away from the room. So information is processed in the brain and then the processed information is transferred to the different parts of the body via the neurons. Now unfortunately while running away a wooden stake fell on Peter's back and severely hurt him. He was immediately rushed to the hospital and there the doctors told his parents that his lower portion of the body had become paralyzed. Now how did this happen? Well, we'll see. Neurons form a cord-like structure known as the spinal cord and these neurons then go to the brain. So since Peter's back was injured, the spinal cord was damaged and so spinal cord that connects the body nerves with the brain was affected and that caused the paralysis of his lower portion of the body. So brain and spinal cord both of them are centrally present and so they make up the central nervous system of the body. Now these neurons that take information from the sense organs to the spinal cord or the brain are present towards the periphery and so they form the peripheral nervous system. Now let me ask you, between these two people, who do you think will become completely paralyzed? This man has injured his hand and this man injured his head. Yes, this man has a higher chance of become completely paralyzed. Since he had a head injury, his brain would be affected and since brain is the place where informations go and informations get processed and then the processed informations are transferred to the different parts of the body. So affected, uh, if this portion, if the brain gets affected, then the body might become paralyzed. Now in this case, when a person gets a hand injury, it is possible that the nerves present in the hand or the peripheral nervous system gets injured or affected but it won't cause paralysis in his entire body. It might cause paralysis in his hand which might get better with time but not his entire body. So if the central nervous system is affected it will cause complete paralysis. If the peripheral nervous system gets affected, it will call, cause permanent paralysis in that portion or not at all. 